Hey, so how to start selling on Amazon for beginners? So in this video, we're gonna talk about this process, sort of how to start. We're gonna talk about the journey of my friend Tal, who's a seller on Amazon, Hello. as well as myself as a seller on Amazon since late 2016. We're gonna talk about the journey, the process. So if you're someone that's looking to sort of start selling on Amazon, you'll understand how it all works and like the steps and generally a journey of people who are really doing it. And pretty much that's the video. And myself, I'm as I mentioned, selling since late 2016 on this channel i'm sharing different tips tricks hacks for amazon sellers so please subscribe if you're in this niche and today my friend tal a good friend of mine i've known him for many years and he is on amazon he's about to sort of launch his second product i want to concentrate on his journey today and his story so tal can you please introduce yourself to us man and uh yeah well, Yo, hello you everyone do? my name is tal i started selling on amazon some two years ago I started with my first product. It was a nice product, but I've done some problems with my research and the product wasn't so profitable. Right. So we were selling nice sales of 20, 30 products a day, but uh, it's something that people need to know that w w when you're searching a product, like when, you, when you're using Helium, the Helium extension, okay. when you see all the stuff, profits, margins, it's not, you don't need to, to, to hold on to those numbers because when you start selling, when you, talking to the supplier. It's a variable that you have to take in mind because uh -huh. uh, it's not the exact numbers as you see when, when you check the product. Some you can you can check the product with Helium and you see, uh, I don't know, $40,000 right. sales, sales per right. month. But it's not like that. It's not like that because you need to find a product that you need to buy it for very cheap. The product needs to be good. in sale boxes, listing, images, all the stuff. and. How to say? But you're talking about the product itself, the research, right? Yeah, but yeah, let's yeah. take let's just take you a step back, man. We're gonna get to that, obviously, to you know the numbers mm -hmm. and this. But let's I'll take you a few steps back, like because people who are watching, if they're sort of they want to know how to start, and for beginners, you know, like what made you even start? Like let's go to that step. So for oh, example, okay, before okay. we even get to mindset, so mindset. Uh, it's mindset and sort of like what made you start, right? I started like a few years ago. I wanted to but many reasons, but I wanted to become free. I mm -hmm. wanted to get out of my job. I wanted to quit my job, which I eventually did. But what was that for you in the beginning? And that, then we're gonna get to the maybe like the how how it works. Or... Well, look, look, I'm 35 years old today, right? And I used to work all my life, like from nine to five. Right. It was a normal day job. I used to design websites, some graphics. I wanted something more, you know? Right, right, right. You know, not, not, to, not, not a daily job, nine to five, and you know, you get your paycheck at the end of the month and that's it. I wanted something more, you know, for myself, money-wise, and I want something more. Something that, to be free. Right. Not have a boss on your head. Yeah, yeah. It's not easy. No. It's not easy. It's much more difficult than to be, you know, than, a normal day job, but it's manageable. But why did you choose Amazon? So for example, you're saying, right, so you wanted to quit your job, yeah, you yeah, wanted yeah. to be more free, you wanted extra income, you know, to <laughs> get more money as well. But like, why specifically Amazon? Why not go and try like... Uh... First of all, it's because of you. <laughs> right. First of all, it's because of you, you know, I, I've known you for many, many years and you did it, you know, and, and it's a platform that it's not that difficult. I mean, you can... It's true. You, you don't have to, to know so many things, you know, sure. you can start with zero knowledge. I mean it, you can outsource everything, the list, the product, the, the images, everything you can outsource. So mm -hmm. the money that you need to invest, it's not a small sum, but it's not, you know, here. It's manageable. Mm -hmm. I believe in Amazon because I think that when you start selling, if you're doing everything, okay, white hat, black hat, all the stuff, <laughs> right. you can make a good profit Fast, even in a couple of months, you yeah. can make a thousand, maybe two thousand dollars profit, and that's why I wanted to do it. I, I believe in this platform. I, I believe. I, yeah, because like in your first product, you were, if I remember right, you were able to sell about a thousand five hundred units totally. In the first unit. product, it was my mistake because I I didn't listen to you. <laughs> No, it's, it's all right, man. But like, like it's still a lot of units, you know. Like you've it's, it's ton of units, but that's right. Okay. But fine. how can I say when there was any profit? I sold a lot of yeah, units, but eventually I sold thousand units, and then I need to buy another thousand units. 
Yeah. And then I have nothing left in my pocket, you see? Well, I, yeah, that's that's a good point, man. I mean, obviously, we kind of started the video with that, but like, you got to be connected to the numbers, yeah. all right? Because it's a business, even yeah. though maybe when you're, uh, you know, when you're hearing about Amazon, I don't know where you hear about the first time, maybe from uh, a video like that or from somebody selling courses. Sometimes when you're getting sold on the idea, and specifically when it depends on how the course is getting sold to you, which is 100% right, like, it's all right to buy and sell courses, but like sometimes the expectations that you might be having are a bit different from the reality. I guess yeah. that's what you, you want better. also that, to that's portray. The point. That's the point. Now, of course, then you're going to be connected to the numbers and you're saying that, you know, you want it to be more free. And then you saw me and my partner, Kirill, we kind of started that like, what is it, 2016? And there we are after a year and a half, we quit our jobs. Yeah. We moved to moved Thailand. To Thailand yeah. that's, that's, I believe it's inspiring, right? It's, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's very inspiring. You right. know, I've known Bobo is, is, is a very good friend but for many, many years. And yeah. I, know, I don't know if you remember, before you started Amazon, you tried tons of things. Yeah, yeah. Tons of TikTok, Instagram, well, no TikTok, Instagram, what's not? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then you fell on Amazon and right. you, 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 how, so, how to say skyrocketed. And, and then you're saying that you believe in the platform because again, you saw us doing that actually yeah. and we're still yeah, selling. Yeah. So, you know, we're yeah. managing. Kira is still in Thailand. I'm currently here in Israel. Yeah, I have another business now, but still like we're living from this business yeah. and it's pretty cool. You feel like because you were, as you already did sell 1,500 units, which is a lot. I think your revenue, live the profit Aside from the revenue was sales, okay, but you I, sold I, totally over 50 grand yeah, bucks, which but, is a lot. And 1,500 units is because I'll tell you what, like most of the people that start or want to start, they'll never start, unfortunately. And for the viewer who's watching right now, I do wish you to start and actually do it because it is do it. doable. Don't, don't be afraid, it's, right. it's very doable, right? And so you already kind of you know surpassed, so to mm -hmm. say, like say 90% of people, yeah. so to say, right? But, and you do believe in the platform and I agree with you, like we've sold over a million dollars of goods throughout these years. Mm -hmm. We started Canada this year and we're about to cross the 100,000 there. So it's like the, the market is alive, right? But let's let's talk about a little bit about FBA itself, like Amazon. Can you like, FBA how, how it works? Like, I mean, you know, you don't know, I don't know, like, but because maybe the listeners are listening, okay, sounds good. Like people, you know, you're, you, you, you got some inspiration, you started, you sold, but how did you sell? How does it work like, can you, like using the amazon service fba it, it, it is very helpful because amazon delivers the package you, you don't have to do anything look look you just need to order the goods ship them to an amazon warehouse and mm. basically that's it but you know you have to enlist to the fba program it's not that easy you know with it takes me, a while to, with my first yeah, product yeah. i had some Problems with that, but also I had the problems with my profits with the first product, refunds. All right. People forget about that. I had, I think, 90 refunds It's uh, per month. 19 or 90? 90. 90. 90, yeah. nine zero. Yeah, nine zero. From thousands of, all right, yeah. That's, it's a lot, it's yeah, a lot, yeah. it's a lot of money. Yeah, and yeah, and sure. people forget about that. And also the FBA fees, you know. You, you need to, to take it in mind all the steps, how to say, because if you don't, you will sell on Amazon. I promise you, if you do everything right, you will sell on Amazon. But you know, you have to make a living out of it. So that was my biggest mistake with my first product. So because I, you know how I said, I, I used to work nine to five many years. I, I don't know how to how to say to, to uh, organize myself with, yeah. with money. It's, it's not easy, but yeah, <laughs> it's a sure. learning process. It's a yeah, learning yeah. process. And uh, eventually, look, I'm doing this so about almost three years now. My first product yeah. kind of sucked. <laughs> now I'm launching my same kicking product. You know, so it took me a year, a year, a full year to find a good product. It's not that easy. You have to talk, contact the suppliers, the dimensions, the, 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 the quality of the product. But it's doable. It's doable. Right, right. You just need to focus on the numbers. Right, it's so very important. Yeah, I understand, man. So, and just to sum up quickly and under explain the FBA model to people who might be like not sure at all. So, mm -hmm. what at least what we do, we do private label, it's called. So, essentially, we private label products and we do it in China. Like, I haven't sourced in any other places, but you can source anywhere. You can source domestically in your yeah. country if you're from the States, or you mm -hmm. can source from China, Portugal. Brazil, Israel, wh wherever. But what, how the model works is essentially we create a product, right? We buy a huge chunk of this product. We mm -hmm. find a market. It's, there's a lot to talk about, but for example, we find a, a niche. A niche for, mm -hmm. for example, I give you one of my products. We have a grill brush, right? Mm -hmm. It's a grill cleaning product. So we search for the niche, like what's a good niche for a product. We see like opportunity in that niche. By the way, grill brushes are pretty saturated these days. We started selling them in 2018, so we got more reviews today and all mm -hmm. this, but 
Revan 17, but like we find a niche and then we create a product in that niche. We put ourselves aside from the crowd. We look different. We try to improve the problems of the niche. And that takes time, that time as you mentioned. A lot of time. We gotta research the product. Yeah. We were sitting with Tal, like working, like what are the, pro what are the also, problems? You know, because I live in Israel and the product is in China. So, you know, time the, difference, the, the, the time difference. difference. And it, it takes time. You just need to be patient and you need to take your time. With my first product, I kind of rushed it. We could have done better, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, well, but, but, but so it's, a, it's a learning process. So yeah, so it's, for example, we create a product then, you know, for example, we create a thousand of these grill brushes, right? We package them differently. We add some, we add, we add branding to them. We brand you it. You have to add our, value, value. We, value yeah, to product, you you so. add value, but also you got to position yourself for maybe a specific audience. Mm -hmm. It goes really deep, right? Many times it goes like on a shallow level in courses. It depends on the course. Some courses like take you from A to Z, perfect. But many times it, it's not that spoken about. So we kind of set ourselves aside of the competition, but then how FBA works, we send it send from China to Amazon. And mm -hmm. then on Amazon, Amazon distributes these products to the buyers. So then we appear on the website of Amazon and then essentially it can get to people. Now it's not that simple. You got to create the listing, the pictures, the video of the product. You have all the technical things. It's in a lot the of the way, PPC. Open the account, you have yeah, pay-per-click yeah. ads. But what's nice is that you don't have to touch the product, right? So exactly. you, like, for example, right now, probably while we're talking, I have sales in different channels on the internet, mm -hmm. such as like Amazon or through YouTube. That's pretty crazy. I mean, this is like mind blowing. And anyone can do that. I mean, anyone in terms of, if you have some entrepreneurial spirit, if you want to change your life, and if you're serious about doing that, because again, it's a real business, right? There are numbers, you can't do that and actually- It's a real business. And like happened to you, like your first product didn't really succeed cause, I mean, di different reasons, but one of them, perhaps maybe you did not connect enough to the numbers. Yeah, maybe, uh, you know, many I, I rushed it, I rushed it. I, I couldn't, you know, uh, to, to, to negotiate a price, a better price, you know, I kind of rushed it. But it's a learning process. I, right now, you're, you're about to launch your second product. If I'm not mistaken there, they should, finish creating the product maybe in a few weeks, I right? think I th to, to, uh, if everything goes well, then tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow, yeah, okay. So it's really, yeah, this week even, right? Yeah, the packages will be done, everything will be done, yeah. Right, and then you gotta inspect the product, mm -hmm. right? an inspection, mm -hmm. that's very important. You it's very important. Inspect the products in China, you can book a inspection with a company, and then it gets shipped through a freight forwarder that takes your products from China to, say, United States. I think you're going to start in the US, right? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And, but right, so you're doing the second one. And what changed since the last time? What would you say? That, I mean, you've already mentioned a few things, but for example, now you're doing it again and you're still, you have confidence in, in Amazon FBA and selling on Amazon, but what would you dif do differently this time, Tal? I can, I can give you some tips, you know, yeah. uh, first of all, Take your time. Don't rush things. Uh, second of all, like I already said, focus on the numbers. It's very, very important. And then you, you know, you, you have to do the work. You have to do the research. You know, you can outsource stuff, but you have to do the work to how to make the product better. Uh, you have to add some value, some package, some insert, and you need to find a good niche. You know, with, with like your grill brushes, it's a saturated <laughs> niche. It's not such. Yeah, days, like there are sub niches in this oh, no. niche, but it's still quite saturated. You need honestly. to take your time. When, when you remember when I started my yeah. first product, I used to look for products and then I will send it to you. You remember the list? All right, right. First of all, <laughs> the first times everything was garbage. <laughs> garbage. Well, yeah, very. Because you know, you know, you think that it's like I said when you check with Helium, and you see the the numbers, it's it, it looking great. Helium you know? is a software for sales. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 for, for sales. Sort of, okay. And so then. you see amazing numbers. But it's it's not exactly that. You need to you need to do the work. And my biggest tip for you is to not to give up. You know, you yeah. be persistent uh -huh. because eventually it will pay off. I promise you. I promise you. I I it it is my second product. I have knowledge in Amazon, but my list, my pictures, PPC, all those things I am outsourcing. I have mm -hmm. people who Kiri Lubova who. You can pay for companies, for people to, and they will help you with the product, you know, because you need to know how to make an image. You need to know how to list your product. PPC, it's a whole... PPC is pay-per-click, yeah, it's, it's, sponsored ads on Amazon. It's, a, it's another planet. <laughs> you know, right, right, right. And you can do it with minimal knowledge. You know, that's why I believe in this platform. In minimum knowledge, in which in which way? Minimum, like uh... look, I think that you need. If you want to sell in, in the United States, you need to know English. 
at least you know how to talk with a customer because you need to have basic knowledge in computers, you know, right, right. how to open a, a web browser or stuff like that. Yeah. And, and basically that's it. I mean it, guys, that's it. I, I see what you mean. Like uh, if, if we compare it to another business, right? And you mentioned money beforehand as well, right? For example, if you want to start selling on Amazon today, not if we're talking private label, because there's also wholesale, there is like dropship, tons there of is stuff, uh, tons of arbitrage stuff. online, yeah. retail arbitrage, and many different ways to do it. You like, need to find the path that it's, it's suitable for you and then go with it, you know? But, but what I'm saying also like with private label, right? If you want a private label product and if you compare it to another business, such as maybe opening a bar, right? In your city, for example, you're watching it from New York and you want to open a bar in New York, how much money will you need? for that tons i'm not sure money. but probably yeah, here in israel even in our small town here we live in the if south you want to run to you know a small store it's, it's it's tons of money yeah like you have to invest maybe in our money like half a million shekels something to start like some, that? it depends right but like a hundred thousand dollars plus maybe to open man maybe i'm wrong maybe it's more no, 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 it's because you gotta buy all these uh like uh you know a machinery you, you have to pay, pay rent for rent, uh, electricity. electricity. With it's Amazon, true. you have to invest in your product. Then you can, as you mentioned, like take services, like invest in your listings. Mm -hmm. So for mm -hmm. people to create your listing, professional pictures, mm -hmm. a photographer perhaps, or a PPC mm -hmm. expert. And that's going to cost money. But it's like, if you want to start private label these days, and it's debatable, some people say like $5,000, some say 10. I would say like, a, if you want to be entered in this with like, for, you know, like with a success mindset, like you're, you're built, to, not built to sell, built to sell, but like you're you're here to stay again it depends but look at least ten thousand bucks aside because you have some money for your first yeah. batch of products then for the second need... for example you buy 500 products right and then you know they start selling but they start selling well and you need to create like extra products and you don't still have money from your sales right even if you have great profits usually no you still need money aside in the, in the beginning you don't have any profit you kind of you it, buy the thousand units you sold them and then you need to pay for the next one. Right. So and then uh, it will become a profit, but not, not, not immediately. You know, you know what I mean? How to say you need, right. you need, first of all, you need to pay for the, you, you need to, you, I think I understand you're saying we need to reinvest the yeah, profits. That's it. That's and it. cause like, and there, it depends, right? Again, if you find something that is like you buy it in China for a buck and you ship it of course. Like, with shipping for like landed cost is called $1 and sells for 20. And there are products like that, right? Of course. You make a lot of money. Your of return investment is going to be huge in the hundreds of hundreds and hundreds of percentages of course right but but most of the products doesn't work that way right so it, it, it depends right but usually you know if you're looking at a product and again it really depends on the niche and everything but you know you would have at least an hour scenario and some products we have after pay-per-click after ads our return investment is going to be in like 200 300 percent mm -hmm. so that means mm -hmm. for every dollar invested we get three dollars out so you invested ten thousand dollars your pure profit is going to be like 30 which is pretty cool because then you yeah. can faster reinvest it mm -hmm. in your product to buy more of that product and ship it so look uh, yeah. like in any business you have to invest the money right it's like any business and, and I wanted to say you, you, you made a great example. I look at Amazon like a mall. Amazon is like the biggest mall in the world in, and basically you I would say you rent a store there. Basically. Yeah, yeah, I see what you're and, and we were talking about money, so it's, it's a big difference. So, so take it, you know, hypothetically. Mm -hmm. If you want to rent a, a, a store or in one of the biggest malls in the US, it's it well, tons of money. Right. There you can rent a store i think in the biggest selling platform in the world right it's not cheap but it's not that expensive that's why i believe in it so much because you know how to say every year how many how many new sellers come to Amazon? Uh, I think a yeah, lot every day today is about four thousand yeah sellers. a every lot day. a lot i know every day, but, four thousand sellers so it's not that easy lot, but right? but but if you if you take it you know if you look at it the other way, the market is growing. The, yeah, that's the, true. The traffic in Amazon is unbelievable. Anyone can do it. You look at it as a store. Anyone can go and rent a store in Amazon. And that's why I believe in it. And, and how did you start? Like, did you take a, I don't remember. Did you take a course or? Uh... Ah, how this, first of all, your videos on your channel helped me a lot. You know, when I started my first product, everything that I've learned from, from his videos, then you know, I contacted you, you helped me with the list, with the first product, uh, with, with all the pictures. And that's it. And also with my second product, you know, I, I also outsourced, you know, the pictures. Did, did you take any course, or did you like learn by YouTube only? Or did you? Uh, I took, you, you 
sent me the curse of Stephen King, you remember? Oh, Kevin King. So Kevin you, King, yeah, I saw his curse. So that's Helium 10 Freedom Ticket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have a link to that down in the description if you wanna check that out. It's the curses right. help a lot, you know, you have tons of curses on Udemy, right. also check that out. It's all free, by the way. Yeah, it's all free and, and it's great content. If you have zero knowledge, zero experience in Amazon and e-commerce, go to his YouTube channel. For a beginner, it's enough. You can start selling only by with your tips. I mean, I'd say that, yeah, I appreciate it for sure. No, man. really, it's, it's, I mean it, you can start selling. Yeah, I mean, I, I would say I would say this, because and, and honestly, because like, a YouTube channel, right? I have over 280 videos this day on my YouTube channel in English. I have like 30 plus videos in Russian and about 20 videos in Hebrew. The problem with YouTube is that you don't get everything in a step-by-step -step manner. So for example, if you're starting today mm -hmm. right, and you want to take it all the process step by steps because first like it's understanding the model then you gotta open the account on the channel right if you go in my last videos you're gonna see different interviews maybe or stuff like that so either you can use the search on the channel but generally i would recommend if you're such a person because it depends some people can actually be really good like kind of self-taught people right? in terms of like they can go and do everything like search for the right things and everything for free and you can find a lot of free content free courses also full mm -hmm. free courses mm -hmm. on like how to sell on Amazon. But a good idea about investing in a course is once you invest money, sometimes you're more serious about it, right? So no, for example- Not sometimes, always. Th and yeah, <laughs> That's so, how the world works. So like f as Freedom Ticket uh, by Kevin Ken, link in the description, with Helium 10, which like is software for Amazon, you can start selling on Amazon in terms of like, you have the software, and if you invest in the software, you get the course for free. Yep. And the course is an A to Z course. Now, link mm -hmm. is an affiliate link, means that if you ever invest in Helium 10, I'm gonna get a little commission from that. No extra cost to you, but just disclosing about the affiliate. By the way, it's another way I make money on the internet is affiliate marketing, but uh, like it's it's a nice way to start with a course, an A to Z course. And like before we wrap it up, right, Tal? So, I mean, you you gave us some tips, you, and I think it's a great tip, like not to give up and kind of not stay to give up. Get... And, and you know, me as a person, I, I kind of take stuff seriously. You know, during your Amazon experience, you will have tons of I don't know some I would say glitches, minor glitches. You know, yeah, it's for sure. A couple okay. of months ago, Amazon, you know, I just browsing my computer, wanted to, to go to my seller center, and I get a red notice: uh -huh. your seller account has been blocked. Why? Why? <laughs> no, one knows. no one knows why. Why, by the way? What happened? So, so I will tell you about it. Oh, so, so I, I, I kind of you know, lost it, you know? And then you have to take it easy, you know? It, uh. It's a process. And then I contacted Amazon. They asked for my uh, credentials, my yeah. passport. I don't know if you know, but uh, my Amazon account is linked to, to a Pioneer account. So yeah. all the, let's see. Pioneer is like an online bank. Online bank, account. yeah. Yeah, you can get money from, sort of from Amazon to Pioneer, mm -hmm. but a link in the description for Pioneer as well, if you want to yeah, check so it Yeah, so they, they wanted me to show, you know, some, some, some certificate. I sent them my uh, Pioneer account, so, I, so they can see that I worked with them and they, I had traffic with them and some income mm -hmm. and that's it. I send it to you know first day I talk to to the to their support nothing mm. nothing right for sure you know they, know. they, they, <laughs> they, right. they don't even write why just you know yeah like, just send us more yeah yeah, yeah yeah send us more details but what, what, what kind what, of details yeah. you know just send us more details <laughs> So, you know, I send it once, twice, I think in three days, I got an answer and that's okay. And also on Amazon, their support uh -huh. sucks. <laughs> you know that. You, you also need a little bit of luck. So the customer representative, you, you will be a human being, you know? So w when he will get your problem, uh -huh. he will read your problem uh -huh. and he will try to help. Yeah, I see what you mean. Sometimes it's like a... It's nothing, you know, they see that your, your account is blocked. Why? No one knows. I see, I see your point. So you just need to be consistent. So you're saying that m many times with Amazon, right, you're gonna have different things that are unexpected. Unexpected, yeah. And you're saying like, take it easy, right? Take it easy. It, you, you remember my first product, you know, I, I had some, a better review. I had a negative yeah. re review. I called Vova in, in many of the night well i got a better review what to do what to do what to do oh, yeah, for you know, sure, it's a process you have to take it 
easy because you know it's a business many many things could happen you know and, and like i said amazon they don't give you excuses or why they just you know block the account that's it also when i was selling with my first product you know due to covid they uh, closed my uh, how to say i can only shipping them I, ca- i can only ship 200 units you remember right and you cannot work with 200 units right So that's it. So also because of that, I kind of trashed the, the first product. But, you know, stuff happens. COVID, anything can happen. So, so my biggest tip, because I fell with that. You know, I couldn't sleep because of it. And, and, and it's nonsense. Really, it's nonsense. A bad review is it's, it's nonsense. No. So you need to take it easy. But how do we take it easy? What makes you take it more easy? For example... For like, me, I, I, I... What makes you... <laughs> when stuff happens, yeah, I, yeah. I just need to breathe. Uh, <laughs> really. <laughs> I just need to calm down For and sure. breathe because I'm that kind of type of person that, yeah. you know, I take it too seriously. Yeah, yeah. So... You just need to breathe. You need to call someone. <laughs> no, really. You, you, you need to call someone. I yeah. usually call Vova. And, you know, anything can be fixed. You can fix anything, a bad review, a blocked account, hijackers. You can fix anything, just, you know, you need to be calm about it. Because it's a business. It's a business. Anything can happen. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure, man. That's an interesting point. I mean, and I also had it. I remember my first review, bad review, and we got a, we had a Kitchen Caesars product. <laughs> sucks, you know, we when you a, get a one-star review. And, and we, it was huge, man. It was like, I mean, sometimes, you know, you would expect to get a bad review. Like, hey, you know, my, this product is not good. doesn't work, right? Yeah, but we but... got a huge review. like he <laughs> the guy literally destroyed our kitchen scissors and it's like a pair of scissors which are pretty good but again i guess he got a bad pair but at that <laughs> point i was really i'm like oh my god oh, this what are we gonna do what, we, do? what we need to make what's some maybe and, and first you know when it happens you should definitely if you get a bad review you need to see what's the review read it like but it, you yourself as a human being of course you don't need to take it close to the heart too much because it might make you you know hard to sleep yeah right? because stuff will always happen so What I'm saying is in the, you know, it's just a little tip, right? And for you too, Tal, for, for example, for any situation that happens in life when you start feeling some sort of emotion, for example, anxiety or fear or pressure, it's good to acknowledge that you've got this emotion. Okay, right now I'm feeling fear. I'm fearful now mm-hmm. or I'm anxious. Mm-hmm. Let it come through. It's all right. It's, it's like, yeah, yeah, just don't, don't try it. to hide from the anxiety. It's there. Like, it's you, true. Just deal with it. I'm deal anxious. With it. Wait a minute. What made me anxious? I got a review on Amazon. All right. Mm-hmm. Is, is this? gonna stop my life like am i gonna die or something <laughs> no. no right that's no. okay it's already good right let's move to the next step i'm not gonna die right is it gonna destroy my income hmm, depends like is it gonna really block all the sales no. well if, if it's your first review and you have zero yes probably you're fucked like <laughs> yeah, yeah probably you're fucked but <laughs> okay but then you take it to the next level okay i'm fucked like what do i do now do i <laughs> right so now i need to contact the reviewer if you can which is a bit of a problem on amazon but so i guess just to sum it up in a few words about the the last part is just take it easy <laughs> and acknowledge your bad emotions that come in and generally it's as you mentioned it's a business being connected business. to the numbers and my huge suggestion for everyone's watching and they really want to be serious about, about any sort of business you need to invest in your education right read if you want to be read some books maybe read books <laughs> but you got to be constantly learning like I've yeah. been, I think since I started being an online entrepreneur, so that's 2016 I'm talking to you, I read over 250 books, I think. And that's a lot of knowledge. I, I went through more than, I don't know, 20 courses, maybe more. I watched, not exaggerating, by the way, for real, maybe thousands of YouTube videos connected to these things. So, <laughs> and then you got to act upon this, obviously. But again, if you don't, in my opinion, invest in education, then it's going to be harder for you because then you won't know how to deal with of these course, things. Of and of course, get some help, like in terms of, Either It's very for, important. Get some help. Either for like, for example, Get some if help. you want to create a listing and you're not a copywriter and you're not a photographer, so you can either like try, that's fine. But I would recommend you actually investing, for example, for our Kitchen Caesar, for the first time we've invested in photography and listing creation. I think back in the day, I'm talking to you late 2016, it cost us like 600 bucks to create pictures with like uh, models mm-hmm. and uh, like a copy. It's very important. Keyword research and all this, because we didn't know that. And then I started learning some copy, 
Mm-hmm. Then I learned how to write listings, but that's that's up to you. These are specific skills, but I would say something tight, like if you get a few, like it's called a stacking knowledge, like let's say stacking abilities. For example, one ability you have is paper click on Amazon. The second ability you have is writing good copy. The third ability you have is, is like uh, branding, right? Which first ability is, uh, you know, your calm, which is like an ability, like you yeah. take things easy. But yeah. once each thing stacks, right for you your growth is exponential right that's why i'm saying you gotta if you're serious about becoming rich from that like if you still if you want to live in as a side hustle still if you want to make three thousand dollars a day you gotta be two thousand dollars a day which is a lot of money you need to still be invested in education so that's my tip for you and yeah mental anything last you want to say for audience before we sort of no just do it guys just do it don't 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 be afraid you know when you first with my first product when you remember when i got the hazmat has made it dangerous goods. It took us four months. Right. Four months. I couldn't list my product with uh, as FBA. Four months. I had to deal with it, but we fixed it. So do it, guys. Try invest. Invest in yourself. Invest in that business. I, I highly recommend it. You know, I'm not the smartest guy on the planet. I'm not the prettiest guy on the planet. I am positive, 100%, that I will make a huge living <laughs> out yeah. of it. So just do it, guys. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. It's it's not that much money. And like I said, you Stop. don't you don't have to be Bill Gates. Right. You right. just have to you know just some minimal knowledge in computers, minimal language, so yeah. you can contact your you know when you sell in Mexico, you can manage your customer service. And that's it, guys. And and don't be afraid to reach for help. You know, I do it all the time. You know, I I have companies who make me who make my pictures, my listing, my PPC because till this point I I, I don't have a lot of knowledge. You know, I I, I cannot do it my by myself. I can, but it will be shit. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. so don't be afraid, guys. Don't be afraid. It's my biggest tip for you. Do it, do it, do it. Anybody can do it. You Pretty don't cool. have to work nine to five. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I hope so. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to wish to you, the viewer. Like, go for it. and yeah. Go for it. And even if you, you know, c- kind of thinking about it, maybe yes, maybe no, I don't know. Go to the, go to Vova's YouTube channel, watch a couple of videos, and I promise you, you will start your Amazon journey. Good luck to you. I know here on the screen, we're going to leave for you a playlist also, like an end screen on YouTube for sort of, but I'll leave a video which is going to tell you how to start selling on Amazon. Like it's, uh, so to say, maybe a more step-by-step video with more technical stuff. So you can click on this now to watch that video. Do it, guys. Yeah. Do it. You, like you see, like you can see, my English is not that good, but it's not that bad. And I, I cope with it. You know? Oh, yeah. Thank you, man, for uh Thank you, Bobo, for having and, uh, me. Thank you for having me. Yeah. And uh, yeah, guys, enjoy the next videos. Bye-bye. Good luck. Bye-bye.